Um, and let's just dive in. Let's just, we're not going to do our favorite news items this week. We're just going to dive in. I'm changing it up. Um, okay. We're going to dive in, of course, in the beginning with public service announcements, little important tidbits that, you know, keep you out of trouble. And uh, we have one this week. Yes, we have one. And hopefully it will solve a lot of questions people have. Uh, I think it already has, and hopefully it will continue to do so. A lot of people are confused about the DJI firmware situation. We talked about last week a little bit about, hey, how you're not supposed to update this because there's yeah. a root hack out now. And, yeah. you know, that root hack is going to be blocked by certain things. And DJI is being their usual self. We can't hold it against them. You know, you expect us like the scorpion, the, the Aesop's fable of the scorpion, right? Of course, I stung you. I'm a scorpion. What did you expect me to do? DJI is trying to lock out uh, the mostly with the FPV drone, right? They lock yeah, out so the ability to you, go ahead. I was, the, yeah, the main thing they did was do the, block the NFZ um, and other like specific hacks where you could like basically the devil hack. Uh, yeah, you could right. unlock or the drone hacks, I believe, was mm -hmm. the, the NFC as well, um, mm -hmm. where you could basically pull off the NFC feature so you could fly anywhere without having to unlock the NFC areas and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, no fly zone. And yeah, get past all those other issues. Um, so the first thing they did was 0020, which came out a little while ago, and that was like blocking those hacks. But it was uh, there was a way to roll back. So anybody who was mm -hmm. doing the hacks could just roll back with the same hacks. To the older versions. versions. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, and they released... Oh, and hang on, before you go on to that, I just want to, because people might be thinking at this point, well, I don't have the FPV drone, so I don't care. But it also locked out the ability to do the video out, the Digiview. And there is a new oh, hack that I we... I don't think is that's Is that right, right or no? Is that not right? No. As well, far as I know, Digiview has not been affected by any of this. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, because oh, they, they would have had to update their fly. They would have had to change their app and the way they so connect to the app. If that. people don't have the FPV drone, should they care? Yes, a lot of people hack. watching this don't. Yeah, so if well, that's if if you have any interest in the root exploit. So using this root exploit that we talked about last week, basically that mm -hmm. will eventually have a well, likely a bunch of features, but currently mm -hmm. only has like uh, just the ability to get into the root of the goggles and do a couple different things, but nothing in particular. Okay. Um, special right now, like you you can load Doom and uh, you can change like the binding, so you don't have to change binding between the FPV drone and the air units and stuff, but just minor okay. things like that. So just to recap the recap, and then I'll let you go with your awesome chart that you made. Yeah. If you have the DJI FPV drone and you want to do any of that unlock stuff, or if you don't have the DJI FPV drone and you want to take it, like they've, they've said things that might happen in the future is independent development of MSP DisplayPort, extending the 13 kilometer range. Really, we don't know, but with root access, nearly anything could be done. And yeah. if you want access to that, then you, there is a firmware that you don't like, want to flash. Yes, correct. Yeah, and that is the 0015 firmware, which you can only get by going to the drone side. So you would have to like purposely do this if you don't own the drone. You would have to go to the wrong side of the goggles and do an update mm -hmm. uh, to get this wrong update. But basically, this chart hopefully lays out for you uh, some of the major concerns and answers a couple of questions that people might have. There's some notes here answering a couple of things about downgrading, but like the big takeaway for you is if you're flying the DIY system, if you have an air unit, if you have a Vista, if you have V1 goggles, those can mm -hmm. be updated to the latest version and there's no issues or changes or problems. Mm -hmm. um, if you've got V2 goggles and you're only using them for the drone, no matter what mode they're in, you can still do the power hack, you still do the FCC hack, you can still do Digiview, none, none of that has changed. So the V1 goggles can't, do not get the 0015 firmware that is the bad one. The one where right. it locks you out and you can't roll back. Um, yes. So the V2 goggles, however, if you are in DIY mode and you flash 0015, you will lose the ability to roll back to 606. And that is going to lock you out forever of the root exploit. But the right. 1200 milliwatt and the FCC hack is still preserved. Yep. And if you or your goggles are in drone mode because you fly the DJI drone, there's another thing, which is where they force you to get the update, right? That's what I see yeah, down you, here. Yeah, if you connect to the DJI Fly app, so you don't necessarily have to do this to fly your drone, but if you do connect to the Fly app and your phone is on the internet, um, it will tell you like, hey, you have to use this update and it will trigger a thing in the goggles and in the system that will not let you fly until you get the update. There mm -hmm. is a current, there's a fix for that on iOS currently. They haven't patched mm -hmm. it yet, as far as we know. If you force close the app, 
go into airplane mode and then open the app again, it will not have cached the version. And then it will get yeah. rid of that lock. And then you don't have to update. There are folks in the chat who are just now hearing about the root exploit. It's a big freaking deal. It basically completely opens the firmware to developers who are just, yes. te they're, they're tearing it up right now and figuring out what they can do. And essentially anything you want from the firmware that DJI won't give us, in theory, the root exploit makes it possible for independent developers to get. So the, it, today there is no advantage to it. They haven't done anything yet. But they're they're steaming ahead. Um, yeah, the work the work all went to get all this working, make it protectable, make it flashable so that it doesn't brick your stuff, make it reversible, figure mm -hmm. out all the hooks, like all the stuff that would make this a concern to actually work with for maybe a dev who doesn't want to brick their hardware. Mm -hmm. um, and now this is like a platform for people. Yeah, so. developers says Mark Spatz. You mean hackers? Yeah, hackers in the best possible way. Um, but uh, the the concern that I think that we don't have an answer to Blunty is like today, if you buy the V2 goggles, they come with the 606 firmware. Actually, maybe the 60, maybe even an earlier firmware, maybe the 600. I'm not sure. It, the last guy I saw who just purchased goggles was 603. 603, um, there you I, go. But I think it depends on which batch you get because um, there might be uh, there might be some batches where people get um, the, the drone mode side still. We don't right. really know how that works. Presumably... Yeah, it, if you buy a standalone set of goggles, you will hopefully get an 0603 set, mm -hmm. which means they don't even have the drone mode on them yet, and you need to update them to 0. Oh, right. The FPV, FPV drone mode is added in 606. One of the things yeah. that's confusing is that the goggles can be in two modes, F DJI FPV drone mode and yeah. what you're calling DIY system mode, which is the air unit and the Vista that we all know and love. And uh, for many people watching this, they never put the goggles in drone mode and they never update that firmware and they never touch it, uh, which is frankly a good, good place to be. Um, yeah. Anyway, thank you for putting this together because there is a lot of confusion about what you can and can't get and which firmware versions are safe. And uh, today it seems like for DIY people, 606 is where you want to be. And if at some point in the future, DJI starts shipping with 015, then we'll have a problem because then you just, you, you won't be able to roll back and the yeah, route will be, be locked out back and the route will be locked out. That's correct. The other thing just to note is if you do have the FPV drone, um, I've got on here the yellow spots and that just means there are places you can roll back both the goggles and the drone. The goggles can actually be rolled back very simply. Um, mm -hmm. uh, we don't know how long this will last for, but mm -hmm. if you just switch the goggles back over to DIY mode and you flash them, 0606 is available and we'll roll the whole goggle back to 0606. Oh, so the, the um, FPV mode is like, no, you can't flash back from O to O. But if you put it yeah. in DIY mode, they're like, yeah, whatever, we don't care. Yeah, we'll let you. Interesting. But if you go to O015, then that's not an option. And then on the drone, Drone Hacks has a free download. It's kind of, you got to go in there and look at the download. The Drone Hacks website has a free download where you can go download a program and that will let you uh, back port your firmware to the okay. O000, which is the open version of the drone. So All right. Uh, Mr. Fowl in the Discord says, I'm so excited to be able to play Elden Ring on my DJ goggles. <laughs> Don't think so. But... Not today, not today. <laughs> All right, well, Lenny, thanks for putting that together. Very excited. Of course, guys, as new exploits come out, uh, as this root hack actually produces fruit, then we will be covering it here on the news. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss those. And if you didn't There's know also... about the root hack, it's because you didn't watch last week's news. So make sure you're subscribed. Also true. Also, just so you guys know, in the corner, I've got version one and the date. So um, keep an eye out. I'll probably be doing new versions when uh, inevitably there are new versions for the goggles. Yeah, because DJI isn't going to take this lying down. They're going to keep changing uh, things. Probably not. <laughs>